Well, John Stewart expects to issue an on-air apology today after making these comments last week. These are merely an unending, bizarrely similar series of isolated incidents. This is an isolated incident, like the police shooting of uh, Tamir Rice in Cleveland, or Dante Parker in San Bernardino County, or uh, Kendrick McDade in Pasadena, or Armand Bennett in New Orleans. Well, the problem, Stewart's facts were flat out wrong about Dante Parker. Now the DA in the county where Parker died is slamming John Stewart. He was so wrong about those facts. They did not shoot him. They tasered him after he had committed a burglary and he was attempting to assault a deputy sheriff. We lead the state in California in officers being killed in the line of duty. Why isn't anybody protesting and marching about that. I used to work out there. They do a great job. Joining us right now with his reaction, Detroit Police Chief James Craig. Chief, this bothered you too, didn't it? It did. You know, I, I really felt that the district attorney's comments were spot on. You know, our officers go out each and every day. They risk their lives. You know, uh, they're met with danger. And yet, what I think should happen is the narrative should expand. I'm not suggesting in any way that, you know, we shouldn't be transparent and address, you know, uh, deadly force incidents because that's how we build trusting relationships in right. our community. And we've done that, especially here in Detroit. But the narrative needs to expand. In what way? Well, it needs to expand. We need to talk about uh, the attacks on officer, uh, the fatal shootings where officers are struck by gunfire and serving our communities. Uh, for example, this past weekend had an officer uh, who was met with a mentally ill person and to prevent harm from his partner, he put himself in the pathway of this suspect who then uh, sliced yeah. his face. It could have been a very tragic outcome, but we don't talk about those situations, nor do we talk about situations like we had here in Detroit involving a, a nine-year-old little girl who was shot in a crossfire of, of two gang members. Uh, right. Nobody cares about her. I mean, I'm not suggesting they don't care, but let's expand the narrative to address it all. Yeah, and then put it in proportion is what you're saying, Chief. And by the way, just to finish this end of the story, John Stewart tweeted this out about Ramos when he was brought to his attention that he was wrong. He said, you're right, Dante Parker, sloppy to put him in our list of shootings. TV apology coming Monday. Larger point still stands. Does that make things better? I don't think so. You know, John Stewart's a comedian. Uh, I don't find comedy in any of this. Do we find comedy uh, in our men and women who serve abroad to keep us safe? Nor should we find comedy in our men and women who serve our so right. many communities across America. Uh, that's not comedy. I agree and with you. Again, I think the narrative should expand. Chief? Just so you know, just to put these stats in case John Stewart wants to include this tonight, uh, 85 NYPD officers were killed after 9-11. So forget 9-11, the numbers would be larger. 85 have been killed in the line of duty. Now, if you want to fine-tune community relations with officers, fine. But now we're, it's, it's everybody's feasting on you guys and you women that do this on a daily basis, not to get rich because you want to give back to the community. And it's abhorrent. It, it, it's, it's tragic when you when you look at the work and, you know, certainly this is not reflective here in Detroit, because I will tell you here in Detroit, our community supports our officers. Yep. I mean, we've had protests just like every place else. There have been peaceful demonstrations. Yep. But as it relates to our relationship with our community, it's been positive. Uh, and I want to continue to remind right. our officers how much well, they are valued. Absolutely. And, Chief, I want you to keep coming back because this is not going away. Uh, James Craig, uh, uh, Detroit Police Chief, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you. All right.